JFT Bujental's perspective, our inner sense from my book, The Search for Being. Our ability to sense our inner being, JFT Bujental said, is often crippled in families, in schools, despite the best of intentions, which often teach us to ignore our inner promptings and instead to conform to an image of how we learn we should be. To live whole lives again, consistent with our unique natures, Bujintol said, we have to reclaim our inner sense, a guiding, a guiding inner knowing, and learn to listen to ourselves again. Bujintol starts his clients on the road to recovering their inner sense by asking them to tell him about the main concern of their life. He asks them to look inside themselves at the flow of inner life taking place memories, physical sensations, feelings and emotions, anticipations, apprehensions, fantasies, dreams, and to tell him what they are experiencing in the present moment in an unstressed way. He asks his clients not to try to solve their problems, but rather to explore what's really important to them without analyzing or categorizing he encourages his clients to have an attitude of curiosity, seeking to discover, to recognize, to appreciate what is going on within them. Bujintol calls the process of recovering our being, inner searching. Advice or criticism would block the process, he said. The idea, Bujintol said, is for the person to mull over what is most important to him, stewing in it for a while allowing all the angles to hit him. If we don't have someone to talk to, writing what is current, what currently concerns us most down on paper is an alternative. The point is to say or write whatever comes into your mind, to let the mind wander where it will, making associations as one thing makes us recall another that resembles it, and then considering whatever their associations bring up, feelings, ideas, thus deepening our awareness of what concerns us most. The idea isn't to get clients to speculate about what concerns them or to find causes, but rather to get back inside themselves, to access their subjectivity, to find their I process. Bujintol uses the term I process to designate what he calls our feelingful awareness, the process of being that goes on within us. We experience our I-ness, Bujintol said, in wanting and desiring, in expressing our ideas without evaluating them first, when we move our bodies spontaneously, when we are open to each other. We cannot see the I of our being, Bujintol said, because it is not an object. Our I is the wanting and desiring and feeling and imagining and thinking and fantasizing and dreaming and perceiving. When we try to maintain a static or inflexible view of the self, we treat ourselves as objects, he wrote, with certain attributes and characteristics. The self as object is really the self that was. It's a self as mental representation rather than an activity. There is a difference, Bujintol emphasizes in his books, between our self-concept and our whole being. To understand the self as doer or the self as subject, we have to get back inside ourselves and experience it. I am the crest of a wave, Bujintol wrote that always has moved on by the time the wave can be identified. Who you were is dead, he said. What exists is ever moving, ever changing. My true identity, Bujintol wrote, is a wearing. I am not the product of these processes. I am the process. Human awareness, Bujintol said, he has given us has given us every major invention we have. Imagine the potential for change, he said. When you start to focus your awareness on your own being, it's only when we are in touch with our inner awareness, he said, 
that we live genuinely and are centered in our lives. He quotes Rollo May as saying, becoming aware of our being may not solve our problems, but it may be the pre precondition for solving them. For Bujintul, being is self-aware existing. Bujintul tells us we have a portion of the flow of being and process it according to our own nature with the possibility of contributing something unique to the world. Our subjectivity is, he believes, the seat of our individuality, our uniqueness. Non-being, for Bujintul, is non-actuality of ourselves. Bujindal considers it hubris to go against our own natures. By being attuned to our inner sense, we achieve greater integration, greater vitality, and a greater sense of aliveness, Bujindal said. We increase our ability to act, our commitment to our choices, and our authenticity in relationships, he said, when we recover our inner sense. Recovering our inner sense, Bujintual said, is a way to achieve major life change, to break lifelong patterns, and to achieve new perspectives. <laughs>